Why is this funding round so significant? Well, the numbers are eye-popping for yes. Southeast Asia. I mean, this is the biggest funding round of, of any company in Southeast Asia. You know, $6 billion valuation, that is post money, and it's a $2.5 billion round, but still it's significant. It shows Grab is now a major player in the ride-sharing space on par with companies like Lyft, a similar valuation. And it shows, as you pointed out, Uber's hold on all these markets is somewhat tenuous right now. Right, we've seen Uber get out of China, get out of Russia. How much pressure does this put on them to get out of Southeast Asia? Well, I think, right, I think China and Russia are good benchmarks here. And remember, when they withdrew from those markets, it wasn't necessarily a defeat. I mean, they got out by taking major stakes in Yandex and in Didi in China. Um, you know, they're simplifying their business, they're cutting their losses. It's not all that bad for Uber, particularly at a time of a lot of management turmoil. What about in other markets, though? I mean, potentially Brazil, potentially India. Right. I don't think they want to sacrifice the whole chessboard. Um, India is one place where, you know, they have significant competition with Ola, but I think uh, they're going to still try to make a major play there. You know, Europe, Air, most of South America, Uber is very strong. So, you know, they can streamline their business in a way and it's not necessarily a defeat. But we've we've come a long way from that early sentiment that maybe this could be a globe spanning platform clearly it's not and softbanks also put money behind the brazilian competitor to uber the indian competitor to uber ola what do you make of softbank being the force that is supporting this anti uber alliance yeah well masayoshi san obviously has a lot of conviction in this category not only in the potential in terms of transportation but also the potential in terms of just payments and this being a major facilitator of online payments now my colleague eric newcomer has has reported that SoftBank may also be interested in taking a stake in Uber, mm -hmm. right, via buying some shares from investors like Benchmark and maybe also investing some more money into Uber. Uh, SoftBank has denied that publicly, mm -hmm. but, you know, we think there's still something to it. So, you know, watch this evolve. We could have a sort of global peace treaty where all these companies take an ownership stake in each other and we reduce the level of dest destructive competition and discounting that is causing them to lose money. Well, and another way to look at that SoftBank potentially taking shares of Uber is, is because investors seem to want to unload Uber stock. Is that just because they want to cash out or because they're losing faith in the company? You know, I, I think it's probably um, the the, la uh, the former. I think that they, you know, the early investors. It's now been 10 years. They are, you know, very impatient, as we know from talk, listening to Bill Gurley over the years. You know, impatient for an IPO, which may or may not come next year. Um, you know, despite the management turmoil, the company Uber has continued to perform quite well. So while there might be, uh, um, you know, a little bit of anxiety, I think people are still pretty bullish on this category. And is it performing well? because it's made these, you sort of raised the white flag in some of these markets? I mean, is it, is it better for Uber to walk away from them? Or do they lose something big by not having a stronghold in some of these other geographies? Well, I mean, what we see is that in, in some of these markets, like Singapore, the market's growing very fast. Nobody's profitable because you have Grab versus Uber discounting the heck out of all these rides and losing money. So the idea really pioneered in China with the Didi Uber uh, peace treaty is reduce some of the competition get rid of the discounting, allow prices to go back up a little bit, and then you return to what's a natural profitability in the business. I think Uber wants to get there in more markets.